platforms, B2B, politics to me are super important for any industry to grow. To have eSports Bar actually in Europe and North America is a brilliant combination. This year I'm coming because it's one of the best, probably the best conference that's out there. If you look at any other sport in the world, they all have been built more or less by media companies. Esports is kind of the only sport who grew grassroots through its own internet distribution and now only gets you know, accelerated by additional distribution. Esports has been built from a content perspective, not from a commercial perspective. To be accepted in esports and to become endemic, take what's there and bring it to the next level then rather than to recreate. Don't think that Counter-Strike is an evil thing. Don't think that you only should use games which fit your traditional profile of how sports looks. It's all about being honest and having an honest communication and then it will reward you 10x compared to something advertisement focused. I think in any sport which is so passion and competition driven, you need to go one step further. It's much faster than any other industry. It's evolving much faster. Well, sleep deprivation is probably one of the assets of eSports, but can be simply overcome by the joy of the moment. My favorite eSports game, I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> I can say which ones I play right now. In Clash Royale on mobile, I play Dota, I play Counter-Strike, and a bit of PUBG and Fortnite, so...